Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats, to another episode of Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Uh, it's been a few days since I've played this game. I've kind of gotten sucked into the projects. Um, I'm learning how to use Fantasy Grounds for my online role-playing group. I have been uh, trying to get my my Tuesday... Or, what is this Tuesday... Yeah, I've been trying to keep my head screwed on straight, uh, normal life stuff. So, it's been a few days since I've recorded this. Hopefully, uh, yeah, like I said, this will be out long before you notice a, a gap in the videos. But uh, I, I need to kind of remember what I was doing. I remember I was at war with blue over here. And I remember green uh, lime over here sneak attacked me. And that kind of irritated me a little bit, but beyond that, I, I don't... Where is our voice needed? Okay, so apparently I may, I'm making a new fleet over here. Targets enemy frigates. Alright, uh, psionic scream fracture. Why not? Uh, so apparently I have a carrier in this little fleet. Uh, this fleet does not look like it's too big. And I have plenty of space, I have plenty of points left with which to purchase frigates and cruisers. So let's go ahead and get some of them queued up. Uh, that's right, I'm playing this weird faction. That's okay. These are the scouts, so let's make a bunch of these. Let's just More load up. More credits are required. Oh, shush. Just shush you all right now I should have my fleets okay I got a fleet over here you're supposed to be you a may speak yeah I may speak I may speak strength and unity I need... tremble before the unity why are my voices back um dialogue there Stop talking back to me and do what I tell you. Alright, um... So you guys should be attacking this planet. Hopefully you'll get it... Evacuated. That's the, uh, capital planet for Blue. I don't know if they've got anything further out, but if I can get their capital, that should put a big dent... In their offenses. Uh, Green has really irritated me. Lime has very, very irritated me. Uh, with their attacking me and whatnot, so I'm gonna pull this fleet down and join it up with this fleet because I'm not really worried about anyone attacking this area here. They'd have to come through here or here, and in order to come through here, they'd either have to come through the pirates or they'd have to come through this area, and I would be able to see them pretty sure I'd be able to see them if they were in there, right? What do I got going on over here? Oh, there's my missionary vessel. Okay, so I need to send him over here so that I can capture this planet when they're done beating on it. Okay, uh, what kind of research do I got going on? Any? Probably not. Research tech. I want to start focusing on beefing up my military a little bit like I would like to get my fleet logistics maxed out and get all of the ships I can so can I I need 1,800 credits I am a little off the mark but I've got more than enough crystal and metal so I can probably sell some of that uh, that and I've got a couple of dogs behind me that are just clicking and jingling away like crazy. So maybe I can sell them off too. You heard me. Crazy animals. They're all stir crazy because they think it's spring outside, but it tried to snow yesterday. So they don't understand why we don't why we're not outside. Like it was nice for a little while and we went outside and barbecued and hung out out on the back deck and it was nice and they they got to get outside and play and have a good time 
and I mean they get to go outside all the time but very rarely do we go out there with them just because it's been so cold but um at that time we, we were out there and we played ball with them and whatnot they just had a grand old time all right so we're gonna join these guys up so I've got my last stage going up for my fleet points I have a few more stages of uh, capital ship command to go but that that's gonna get kind of expensive so let's um well, what do we got going on here all right well as long as they're not coming after me I will chip in on this whole go after dark blue thing pretty sure they're not gonna drop two grand on me just because I'm not this close to the deadline so diplomacy target dark blue uh, I intend to why are you still flashing at me now I've already looked at you quit flashing at me stop all right so I want to save my money as much as possible to get this filled up. So I'm going to be focusing on this above all else for now. Um, other than, obviously, I'm going to be trying to create this other fleet down here. So I'm just going to pop out as many ships as I can in this area here. I'm getting ready to go on the offensive up here as well, and I have a feeling I'm probably going to end up losing some dudes. So let me join these fleets together. Like, yeah, no. Like that. Okay. And I need to get a... I need to get some, some stuff going on here. I just said I was going to save money, but apparently I'm a liar. Because that planet's not going to do me any good if I have no development on it. It's just going to cost me money. So let's at least get the extractors up and going. And then some defenses. Because this is currently at my front line. It would be nice if I can use it as a retreat point and actually use it as a defensive place. In the meantime, I don't want Lime over here to start building up too heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and send my fleet in to keep the pressure up. Have you guys captured this yet? Oh, we're so close. Keep going. Keep going. Alright. And is my... My... Um, colony ship should be sitting in here somewhere. Yeah. So we'll send him over here soon as this is cleaned up he can capture it and we are making progress now I've decided that I'm an idiot uh, no I have not realized I'm an idiot I've known that I'm an idiot for a while I have just decided to finally admit to it and own it um, this is a humongous map like I, I chose one of the larger maps which means this game could last for a very long time and I am not sure if I am ready to commit to making 400 Sins of the Solar Empire videos and posting them up. I love this game, but I don't love it that much. So I, I may take a break for a while on this game. I, I, I want to try and... I don't know. I don't know if I want to commit to taking over the entire... Uh, solar system here or what galaxy but you know I, I will do uh, I will do a few more videos before I give up on it I'm not just gonna give up on it right away but I don't think I'm going to like beat the game I'm not sure I don't remember what my objectives like winning to, to win the game I don't remember what my end goals were I, I think you can win the game in like five or six different ways and I have it set up to where any one of those victory conditions, if they're met, can be a victory. And I'm not close to any of them. 
So again, it's it's going to be a long game. Uh, I have other games I want to record. Uh, I've got a couple new ones uh, that I'm really excited to get into. And like I said, I've been trying to learn the the fantasy ground setting for my Sunday night role playing group. So my, my time to just play games is not as unlimited as it was earlier, previously, prior. So there may come a time, here we go, here we go, now we're doing something. There may come a time here where we have to take a break from sins for a little while just so that I can get some other stuff done. But I, I will not, you know, I will eventually come back to it. And whenever I decide enough's enough, I will eventually come back to it and pick up where we left off. Um, but just keep in mind, there's a possibility that I, I may decide that I want to take a break from this for a while. Yeah, you buttholes. Why are you not... Oh, you guys are drones. That explains it. So you guys need to come over here. If you can attack those, that would be great. Why are you not... What do... You. Do this. Here. Enemy culture is too high for colonization. Well, I guess I'm just going to leave this fleet sitting here for a while because I did not fight to get this planet for no reason. I wonder if I can build no I don't imagine since this isn't my system I don't imagine I would be able to build in here so I could not build any cultural devices in here so I guess I'm just gonna have to go attack the outlying systems so that the culture drops on this end here this blue lines are the culture um, once this isn't connected by all this culture, then I should be able to claim this planet. But I don't want them in the meantime to come take it back. So I'm just going to leave that fleet there for now. Uh, I got stuff going on over here. I'm probably going to have the same problem here with the culture. Now, this I, I, I realize full well this is not the way this faction is supposed to be played. I am supposed to be fighting them with my culture. I'm supposed to be inspiring them and bringing my culture to them and influencing them. And I've never really played the game that way, so I'm not 100% sure how to accomplish that. Now, I've tried in the past. Like, I've, I've looked into building things for that, but I don't really see... You know, like, I can see my influence growing from my planets. You know, I can, I can see it. But I don't see it having any actual effect. Because, like, I own these two planets for a little while now, and, and their culture still... I mean, it's retracting a little bit. But it's still pretty dominant through here. You'd think... Well, maybe it's because I don't have this developed too much yet. Let's go in here and see if we can do something about that. Temple of Harmony... Research new technologies. I want this. Temple of Communion. Yeah, I want like a bunch of those. So let's put a couple of those. These take up logistics. So I want, I, I need to get some more tactical stuff in here. That is a priority for me right now. Just so that if they come sweeping in through here, I don't lose this. This looks like it's going to be a good, a good planet. And I need to upgrade its infrastructure a little bit and do some of this. And this is how you save money. Right here. This is how money is saved. I don't need any of those right now. Let's save some of the tactical slots because when I research it, if I research it, I'd like to put in... Uh, repair stations and stuff. Here we go. See, now now it's doing some stuff. So I need to... I would do the same here, but like... They don't have any incoming... Uh, 
culture from either of these planet lines. So I'm, I'm thinking that eventually this will go away on its own. And I want this down. So I'm probably going to have to take out... See, this is shrinking. This is shrinking. This is shrinking. So eventually I will be able to take this planet. That is amazing. Now, what about this planet? Why is the culture not shrinking here? They probably have something on these planets that are feeding culture into each other. And I don't like that. But I don't have a big enough fleet here to go kamikaze on these planets. So I think... This new fleet that I've got going on over here should be a fairly good size now. So let's go ahead and link them up as a fleet and we're going to send them over to join up with this one. And then maybe we can start exploring out and seeing what's resisting us out here. I cannot do anything about my influence from here because this, this cannot be colonized this cannot be colonized so I cannot build any of my cultural stuff here the same is here so uh, I, the, I'm gonna have to come up here and manually beat on this guy which is blue I would assume it's a blue because you can see the the dark blues cultures coming off of that as well so I am literally fighting wars on two fronts here and I did not want to do that but that is what is happening I need to get a colony ship up here so I can snag that as soon as the culture allows. Why are you... Alright, scout ship, not worried about that. So I need... I need a colony ship, yo. Just one little colony ship. And you can park right over here when you're done. Because I'm going to send you up here. And... So we, we looked like we were in a pretty good condition when we came back. Because I was not immediately after logging in confronting any mass fleets coming in on me. Um, that doesn't mean they're not building up somewhere back in here and getting ready to shit stomp me. But they haven't done it yet. So I'm feeling a little scatterbrained right now. I feel like I've got too much going on. I'm trying to take out this. I'm fighting a war over here. I'm fighting a war over here. Uh, I, I, I've got a lot of development to do on the planets I already own. Forgive the beeping in the background. That's just my dinner. Um, I would like to be doing more research. I would like to be upgrading my fleets. You know, there's a lot of stuff I would like to do. And if, I, if I'm not careful... I could very easily put myself in a situation where I, I regret doing whatever it was I just did. You want me to attack the green guys? I'm on it. I'm on it. So, I need to figure out what I want to do. I mean, what victory condition do I want to try and accomplish here? So, like I said, I don't remember what the victory conditions are. And I'm not sure if there is a way to view what my victory conditions were. I can probably research it because I'm going to have to step away for a minute to take my food out of the oven. But I don't have to do that immediately. So... Yeah, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, for those of you who play this, and if you're interested in making YouTube videos yourself, or if you like, you know, if you're one of those people that like to use video games to make movies, and if you're not already aware of this, up here, you can toggle cinematic mode. Now what that means is, if we come in here, and we look really close at our fleet. Say we pick this guy. And we kind of focus in on him. You can rotate around him. And now if you click cinematic mode. Uh, it 
takes off, you see these, the icons here, to show what ships belong to who. If you hit this, that takes that away. So you can get a, a bit more of a, a, cinem, a cinematic view, I guess. Um, there is another, there is a way to get rid of the UI briefly too, for like screenshots and whatnot, but I don't remember off the top of my head what that was. You need to die. You're not going to bring your battle cruiser in here and think you're going to accomplish something. This is going to be my planet. Just get over it. Like, you shouldn't have been where you were when I attacked you. And this, gentlemen, is not cool. That ain't happening. Let's throw someone here too, just to confuse them and make them think that, you know, I'm not doing it. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause here for just a second so that I can go 10 to the... Th Actually, i got a couple minutes before we run out of time for the video. Dinner's not going to die if it's in the oven too long, so we're, we're fine. I need to chase with this cat away, though. She loves me. Alright, so... Vaping, vaping, vaping. Alright. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is almost. Uh, this is about ready to be plundered, yo. You, please go up here and take care of that. I don't know. You go here. I'm not 100% certain what blue. What blue's object? Like how blue is intending on winning the war but it looks like blue is the humans and, and normally the humans went through like just straight out combat or trade and stuff like that so it surprises me that they have such strong cultural influence through here green on the other hand as you can see could care less about culture and cultural influence because there is none so I shouldn't have to worry too much about their cultural influence when I'm trying to take them over. Blue's going to be a bit more of a pain in the butt. I cannot colonize this. So I cannot build my culture projectors here. So I have to get a foothold here somehow so that I can start building cultural projectors here and extending my culture out from this hub. But and there, until I can get their culture down a little bit, I can't gain control of this planet. So that's a, a, an interesting situation. A situation. Um, is my colony ship even moving? What are you? Missionary vessel. Why are you there? We'll send you up here as well. Just because I suspect I'm going to need more than one colonization ship up there pretty soon. You're an assembly drone. You're an assembly drone. Where did my other colony ship go? Like, is he... Ah, ooh, he's pretty quick. Like, he's made two jumps already. I'm not used to them being that fast. Alright, so... We have my fleet building up over here pretty good. What do we got going on here now? Oh, that's not good. Well, this isn't colonizable, so you guys can just deal with it. Where are you going? Oh, you're that little battle cruiser I was chasing earlier. I'll deal with you later. Alright, so I'm going to unite these two fleets to make a larger, more robust fleet, like so. And let's send them down here. Just, oh, why is there so much gray here all of a sudden? Well, that scared me. I guess the gray, is, it was me. Like, the excessive... I don't know. I thought there were a whole bunch of pirates over here all of a sudden. And that was scaring me. Ah! Uh, no! No! I don't care if I spend all my money for the rest of the game. That ain't happening. Blue. No, that ain't happening. Alright, you guys clean this system out. This is a dead-end system, so once I clean it out, they gotta come through here to get to here. So, 
that's fine. Uh, I can deal with that. And Orange is still scouting my area. I don't have a problem with Orange right now. I mean, we don't really like each other, but he's not been a uh, anus yet. So I can't really do anything else here yet. I have the colonization ships coming in. Um, Let's see if I can... See, my fleet, I still have a lot of ships that I can put into my fleets. Like, I really don't... You know, I mean, I suppose I could build another fleet with a new capital ship. It wouldn't hurt to have some reserve troops just kind of parked back in here to react to any invasion fleets that manage to break through, but... I don't know. Let's go ahead and queue one of those up. I should have enough resources for that. Hello, wife. How are you doing? Uh, okay. No available capital ship crew. Well, I didn't think that through. Let's, uh, can we remedy that? No, I need to wait for my crystal to come back. Alright, so we, we have all the resources we need for another capital ship. But currently, I don't have a captain. So, uh, at this point, however, I am out of time for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. When we come back, we will, it looks like we'll be getting ready to take this planet. And this should be cleaned up pretty good so I can start working on the, the cultural influence on this planet. So hopefully we'll have two new planets in our little domain before too much longer. Until then, however, I've been your host, DM Renavion, saying stay safe, have fun, and I'm out.